In the mid-80s, a new standard of hard trad climbing was emerging. Well done, well done. Oh! At the forefront of this new wave was the immense vision and talent of a true climbing legend, Johnny Dawes. In 1986, not only did Johnny establish three new E8s, but here on the Welsh crag Clogwyn Dwyr Arddu, he climbed the most inspired new route in the sport's recent history, Indian face. Generally recognized as the boldest undertaking on British rock at the time, it is thin, sustained, and deadly serious. 21 years on, and this, the first E9 in Britain, has received just two repeats. It's no surprise that Indian Face has been on the hit list of Dave McLeod for some time. When I started climbing, it was still like, you know, one of the hardest routes in the country. It was the first E9 in the world, so I guess I've been really interested in it ever since I started climbing. It's just got such a massive reputation, and like for good reason, because although like there's lots of people in the country and the world that could easily, you know, top rope it, um, I think there's still very, very few climbers anywhere that, that would that would lead that route. And um, so that's, I think it's deserved its reputation, you know, it's hardcore. <laughs> um, top rope to route cleanly, twice, first try, so pretty good start, don't know. The description, Johnny Dawes' description says obligatory death from the, the last 20 feet. But I'm not sure if it's obligatory, I think it's just, I don't know, what's the word? <laughs> Virtually guaranteed, but not completely. So, technically, it's um, a whirling mass of um, possibility to fall off, because it could easily snap the rocks. It's really solid, but it's snappy. So you're dealing with something basically, which is like, um, it's like swimming around it, you know, with, 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 with a great white shark. It really, it really is. Oh, ah, cramping feet. Ah. I might come up tomorrow and um, try it again. Uh, so I'll see how it going tomorrow. Strange, it's, it's it's easy climbing, but it's the only thing it's not easy on is your feet. You're just like teetering up the wall, standing on these little small edges. I'm trying to imagine what would make you fall off. I think the only thing that would make me fall off if once I get a bit more wired would be if a hold broke or my foot just randomly slipped off. I came down to try it with the, the outlook that I'd just walk away from it without giving it a second thought if I, if I didn't feel right or I wasn't, I didn't have the right motivation to do it. And, and it, after today, I'm still not, I'm still not sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm very psyched. I don't think I'm going to do the route. Um, it's just... If I'm going to really risk my neck, which is what you would do if you led this, then it's for the right reason, and I'm really motivated by the climbing. So I'm not really in this case, so I'm just going to do something else.